Sharon, give us a little reason for hope. There is some hope. There is, in fact, a silver lining as well in those steep losses in digital currencies this year. You could also actually have some gains, even with Bitcoin down over 60 percent this year. If you were trading a lot of Bitcoin or another digital currency on the ride up, you may have some profits and a tax surprise. So here's how to avoid that. Whether you have profits from crypto or mutual fund payouts at the end of the year or other assets like the sale of an investment property, you can use crypto losses and other capital losses to offset capital gains. If you have more losses left over, you can use them to offset up to $3,000 of ordinary income this year and then carry forward extra losses to future year. Now, there's usually an important rule you also have to follow in tax loss harvesting in order to realize that loss. Investors are blocked from buying a substantially identical security 30 days before or after the sale. You can't uh, buy Microsoft, sell it at a loss, and then buy it back the next day. The IRS will say, you are not allowed to use that loss. You got to stay out for at least 30 days to avoid what's called the loss sale rule. That does not apply with crypto. That Washell rule does not apply to crypto because the IRS treats it as property, not a security. So you can buy Bitcoin or another digital currency right back after you sell it. Brian? Okay, so if you have money in FTX and you don't know the status of the money, could this, how, how would you work around with that if you don't actually know what you may have lost? I mean, maybe you counted as zero. This is the key part here. You have to actually have assets to sell in order to ha use this tax loss harvesting strategy. And so talking to the IRS, they don't have guidance at this time on that particular situation. So they're still looking into this. They don't have guidance right now. People are just going to have to wait and see what happens.